I am just completely fascinated by the Ice Age at the, ice at age. the, at the moment. If you had yeah. one shot to go back and see what it was like in some place, you wouldn't go to the construction of the Great Pyramids? I think right now where I'd go is 12,800 years ago in the beginning of the Younger Dryas. Ah, just to see. Because I think that's where the whole human story changes. I think that's where we change tracks from one path to another path. And following those cataclysmic events of the Younger Dryas between 12,800 and 11,600 years ago, following those, the signs of civilization that we see emerging are not the beginnings of civilization. They're a restarting of civilization that had existed before the cataclysm. And for that reason, um, I would... Uh, I would like to be present uh, mm. during that cataclysmic event, if only to satisfy myself that it was indeed a comet. You see, the, the, the one thing there's no dispute about anymore uh, is that the Younger Dryas was a cataclysm. You can't, they, they can't argue about that. The, 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 the megafauna that, uh, that, that die off, the disruption of human activity that takes place at that time, the huge climate changes, this was a cataclysm by any standards. Where the argument still goes on is what caused the, what caused the cataclysm. I vote strongly for comet, multiple fragments of a comet hitting the North American ice cap and hitting Greenland as well. But there are other researchers in the field, like uh, my colleague Robert Schock, who thinks that the sun is more involved. This is mm. healthy. This is very, yeah. very healthy that there should, we should be approaching this problem from many different perspectives and trying to figure out what the fuck caused this extraordinary event that occurs at a pivotal moment in the human story. And